Tomorrow, Spencer Crandall will be laid to rest. His funeral comes six days after being shot by a Wise County homeowner who says Crandall was trying to break in in the middle of the night. But family members say there's a lot more to the story that Crandall was active in church, an Eagle Scout, and happily married. Not a criminal, just a man who struggled with sleepwalking. News 8's Jim Douglas talked to them tonight. The Crandall family Christmas card photo on the steps of the Denton County Courthouse. The morning after Christmas, Spencer Crandall was shot dead on his neighbor's porch. Only Spencer knew why he came knocking at 4 a.m. And maybe he didn't know either. Um, he had been sleepwalking. His brother and sister say Crandall's sleepwalking was getting worse. His wife Amanda suspected prescription muscle relaxers he took for two ruptured discs. Sometimes he'd make it into the backyard, sometimes he would make it into the front yard, and she would physically go out, grab his arm, and pull him back into the house so that he would be safe. But on Christmas night, Crandall was alone, his wife out of state with family. And Spencer did something they say was unusual for him. He drank some beer. He, he was hurting really, really bad on Christmas Eve and uh, he would only have obtained it for the purpose of dealing with his back pain. The Crandall's faith forbids alcohol. We are all members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and he had served a mission for our church, and he loved that experience. They say Spencer remained deeply involved in church mission. He was the kindest, meekest, most gentle person I've met in my life. The neighbor told Wise County investigators he shot Crandall when he tried to push his way inside. No charges are expected. But reports surfaced of a previous criminal trespass charge against Crandall. His brother, Ryan, says that was for driving past a road barrier at college. He graduated from UNT, he had a degree in accounting. They don't know why Spencer Crandall did what he did, but they do want us to know who he was. Right. Jim Douglas, Channel 8 News. With my